So, okay, so one strategy to solve this is to figure out what is the lowest common denominator. So we have a denominator of 3 and a denominator of 5. What's the lowest common denominator, Frank? So I'm going to multiply each term by 15. Okay? So this is the strategy I taught you yesterday. Multiply by the lowest common denominator. What happens when I multiply this by the lowest common denominator? 15 divided by 3 is 5. So I have 5 times k plus 2. And then I have 15 divided by 5 is what? 3, three bracket k minus 4. OK, so now I have brackets. How do I? What's the next step? What do I need to do that now that I have brackets? I can't simplify what's inside the bracket. Yes, we have to distribute. 5 times k. 5 times positive 2. 3 times k. And 3 times negative 4. Good. Now we've removed our brackets. What's the next step? Yes? Find the like terms. Okay, which terms are like 5k? Which term can go with that? Okay. So this is what we talked about yesterday. I have a 5k on the left side of the equation. My positive 3k is on the right side of the equation, but I want it to be removed from the right side of the equation. So what's the opposite of positive 3k? So if I take away 3k here, I'm removing it. So what do I need to do here? 5k minus 3k. So negative 12 stays here, but I need to get rid of this plus 10. Negative, minus 10, good, negative 10. So take away 10. We've now put all, we've grouped all our like terms together. Final step, what do I need to do? Simplify, what's 5k take away 3k? What's negative 12 take away 10? Good, and final step, what do I do? K equals negative 11. Let's figure out, looking at our fractions, I have 1 over 9 and 1 over 3. What is the lowest common denominator of 9 and 3? Nine. 9. So if I multiply this by 9, what am I left with? 2y minus 1. If I multiply this by 9, what's 9 times 1 third? Okay, so 9 times 1 third is... 9 over 3, which is 3. So on my left side, I have 2y minus 1. I can drop the brackets. There was nothing in front of it. Well, we can imagine there was a 1 there. And now I have 3 times y plus 1. What's 3 times y? And 3 times positive 1 plus 3. Okay, so we've multiplied by the lowest common denominator to try and get rid of the fraction. So 2y is on the left side, let him answer, and positive 3y becomes, okay, so I've used those ones. Do I change the sign for plus 3? So that stays as positive 3, and what happens to negative 1? <laughs> So we want to figure out what's 2y take away 3y. Negative 1y, and then we have 3 plus 1. 4. But I need to know what y equals, so what do I need to divide this by? And I need to divide this side by positive 4 divided by negative 1 is negative 4. Your answer should be negative 4.